Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Arcus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix TP Link Router No Internet Access. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, if you're having problems with your internet access in your TP Link Router, well, there are a few things that we need to understand and you need to do here. So, first things first is you want to do the basics. So, in this case, you want to check or inspect the physical status of your router. So check the back and see if the uh, Ethernet cable are properly plugged. See if the power cable is securely plugged in. Just basically make sure everything is properly connected. Nothing is loose. Now, usually for Ethernet cable, you should hear a click when you plug it in. So in this case, if you don't hear a click, it means that the Ethernet cable may be or may have been worn out. So try using a different Ethernet cable just in case. So next thing that you want to do here is if that doesn't solve your issue, you may need to power cycle your router. So in this case, you want to turn off your router, wait for about 12 seconds or more if you can, so a minute or two, so just wait. And once you've waited enough, you can go and just plug it back in, wait for your, uh, your router to boot up and see if that solves the issue. But if none of those solves your issue, there is one more thing that we could try doing here. And that includes you accessing some pages and some settings here. So first is you want to go open up any browser here and just make sure that your TP-Link router is directly connected via Ethernet cable to your computer. Now, uh, in this case, once you are uh, directly connected in here, what we need to do is you want to access the following. Now, the address itself may be different for you. So usually it's going to be 192.168.0.1. So it can be 192.168.1.1. So it depends on your model here. So it's best to check the manual or at the back of your router. But yeah, so once you've done that, you want to go and just enter or log in into your account. Now, usually the password and the username would also be included on the back or at the underside of your router. So go ahead and just uh, check those credentials and log in into your router. Now, once you've logged in, this is what you should be seeing. Now, you want to go to the website here and you want to go to network and you just need to make sure that your connection type is set to dynamic IP so that IP addresses will be automatically or will be assigned automatically on different devices. Now, if you have this on static IP, change this to dynamic IP and click on save. Now, once you've done this, it's best to restart your router as well as your PC to see if that solves your issue. Now. If that doesn't solve your issue, the next thing that you want to do is you may want to also reset your IP settings on your PC. Now, for Windows users, what you just need to do is you just need to open up Command Prompt. So just type in CMD in your search bar here, right click on it and just click on Run as Administrator. Now, once you've run this, what you need to do is you want to go and just copy the following uh, commands and just run this into your CMD. Now, basically, it just resets your IP address on your PC here, and hopefully that would solve your issue. Now, if none of this actually work, well, it means that you may have a faulty or a malfunctioning uh, router. So it's best to consult support or try replacing uh, wires if you can. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.